Hello everyone and welcome to an experimental edition of Atman Unlimited. As you can see we're in the office tonight and I've been evaluating different video editing softwares. So I'm trying to get off of the freeware software that gives okay results but the pay stuff gives much better results. And I just like to take a moment and thank all the supporters that we have, um, both the people that have done one-time donations or purchased shirts, and especially our Patreon supporters that uh, support us monthly. So I'm trying to you know, use those funds to reinvest into the channel, uh, increase the quality of the videos, and then also you know, try to get some more projects going. So if you haven't seen the watermark, I've been evaluating Cyber Director, and so far I've been liking it. So the price point for this right now for the Ultimate is about 89 bucks, so very reasonable in my opinion, and it's pretty easy to use. I didn't have to do much lookup on any facts or how-to videos. I was able to just load it, jump into it, and it was pretty similar to what I was previously using. Uh, but the render times were astonishing. Um, so this software heavily leverages the GPU on the graphics card that I have and it rendered a 30 minute video in around 5 minutes. And my previous software would have taken around oh, 15 to 20 minutes. So huge time savings there. So I'm making this video and I'm, I'm doing the entire workflow completely in CyberDirector and I just wanted to make this and upload it and then get some feedback from you guys and let me know what you think. So I completely redid the intro. I know it looks identical, it's just I did it with uh, CyberDirector rather than the previous software. And I also used their screen capture. So we'll take a look at a screen capture and see how the screen capture works. And then this is shot using the exact same camera. I use a Sony Handycam um, for most of my on-screen stuff and then the GoPro is used in the machine. Um, but what I did this time is I took the video straight off of the camera and just threw it right into CyberDirector and it was able to chew on it and, and do it just fine. Now what pushed me to do this mainly is both, I you know, I'm trying to get better quality but I noticed I've been having audio sync issues ever since I upgraded to Windows 10 and I don't know why. So I thought it was maybe the camera software importing the camera software so I got rid of that whole process and I just pulled the files directly off of the camera still had the same problem if you notice the last video I did with the first Nmil series um, it still had a little bit of audio sync problem it wasn't as bad though but it was it was still there and that's really buggy when you're trying to watch a video if the sound doesn't sync uh, with the person speaking so I'm hoping that this solves it. So far all the videos that I viewed and rendered, it did. Um, so we're gonna find out with a full upload and, and see what you guys think. I also wanna give you a little sneak peek of something that I've been working on. And let's take a look at a screen capture that I did. So this is Fusion 360. And this is the backside of the assembly that I've been working on. And it's a bunch of gears. So here we've got four spur gears and a worm gear and the place that I buy these gears from supplies the models so it was literally as easy as importing the model of the gear into Fusion 360 and making a joint to the shaft and then making motion um, connections between each one of the joints with the correct ratios and then I did a motion study here to run it so that you can see the complete gear train you know in 3D modeling before you build it and then you can also rotate it by hand to kind of see you know your teeth meshing so this is a worm gear meshing with a spur gear so I wanted to make sure I maintain a little bit of clearance so that we don't need binding and uh, you know you can see the clearance between the two spur gears so this is this is pretty cool uh, if you guys want to see more detail on that um, I can do a video on that if you'd like, you know, let me know in the comments below. But, you know, moreover, let me know what you think of the screen capture and what you think of this video quality. And, uh, you know, if it's better than what I had, 
I'll go with it and purchase a license to get rid of the watermarks and stuff. So I'm just trying to see what's out there and uh, try to you know spend my money wisely. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you again to everybody that's uh, supporting us, and uh, we'll see you in the next end mill video. That's going to be interesting.